hello youtube welcome back to my video in this video i am going to show you how to enable login with a, a linkedin in your java project here we go so the first step what we have to do is register with the uh, linkedin developer site and get the client id and the secret id from linkedin so let's go for that so just search for linkedin sign in api So you will get uh, the sign in linkedin developer linkedin.com just uh, click on that Now uh, go to my apps So it will ask uh, for login just login here Okay now this is the my application section So I already have uh, an application here So I am uh, going to create a new application for the testing here Just click create application now just uh, this will be your screen on uh, creating a, a new application just give any anything here i am just giving testing here a uh, name as like uh, linkedin java test testing so it's asking an application logo just put any application logo I'm, i have created one for my testing so i'll be using that so i have uploaded the image here now it's asking the application use now i am uh, selecting as education training certification so it's asking a website url i'm not going to give a website genuine website url i'm just giving as a local host let's see what's happening business email i am just giving a random email this phone is also required now just put some number here i had just put randomly let's see oops it's saying uh, the application name could not be linked in so i am just putting java test here so it's asking a valid URL. So let's see. I'm just giving my uh, my own email uh, URL like http chillyfest.com. This is my website. So I'm just registering it again. Okay. Here we go. So we got uh, all the things here. The uh, client ID, client secret, default authorization uh, permissions. B basically, uh, by default, it will be basic profile only. So I'll be uh, taking for e email address also. Let me take email address also when the when someone login uh, with our application. So it's uh, uh, asking a authorized redirect URL. This is basically once uh, some once a uh, user logged in with our our application so linkedin will be default by default will be redirecting to this page so i am giving a page here so i have given like the local host 8080 linkedin success.jsv so once someone uh, logged in uh, in our application linkedin will automatically redirect the uh, uh, the page to this page you can give a, any website link here if you are going to host this in a website so for testing i'll be running our application in localhost so that's why i'm giving uh, localhost here now i'm just adding that now this is one not not required we are uh, using o2 here actually i'm going to update it just click update okay the update is successful so we got the client id and the secret client secret id so let's go more further okay now this is my eclipse ide i have already created a uh, dynamic web project named linkedin which is having uh, two jsp files index and success.jsp so uh, this is running in tomcat server i have already uh, created everything i have set to go so uh, inside the source packages of uh, java i have created uh, two classes here common things linkedin profile and post test actually the common things uh, is uh, where we i copy the client id and the client secret and this will be statically using in my uh, post test this is the code for testing uh, my so uh, from this post test we'll be uh, submitting our request to uh, linkedin so i'll uh, show you how how uh, the process works uh, 
and uh, LinkedIn profile is just a bin class uh, carrying the first name headline last name and ID so before going uh, how to work this I'll show you uh, the workflow how, how uh, the login works for LinkedIn okay here's the workflow of uh, uh, login process first our uh, web application is running in localhost 8080 and the link linkedin.jsp so we should uh, post a request uh, with response type client id redirect url state and scope to a uh, linkedin with a get request uh, to a link www.linkedin.com or v2 authorization so let's check uh, from our project how this goes okay this is my project uh, in my uh, java resources i can uh, have a, a class common things uh, dot java well, i have to copy my client id and secret id so let me copy that first client id is this one and uh, secret id is uh, this one okay now the redirect url i have already copied it's a linkedin.success.jsp to this page now let me open my index page see here i have given an href link to that uh, url which i told uh, will submit a get request so we are uh, submitting a response type as code should be always code as per uh, the documentation and client id we are giving the client id and the redirect url and the state uh, that we could uh, give anything as per uh, the as per the documents from linkedin and i am uh, putting the scope as the basic provi profile and email address so it will take uh, our the email address and the basic profile of the user this is the parameters like uh, response type client id reader url state and scope so i am all passing this uh, to the link uh, get here and uh, uh, once we have uh, submitted to this link the web page will be taken uh, to a, a login page of uh, a linkedin which will uh, ask our user to login with the, his username and password and what linkedin does is linkedin uh, logs in after a logs in of the user it will redirect to the page it will redirect to the success page let's check, check out that so once we have submitted the get request uh, to this authorization link what linkedin does is it will redirect to the success.jsv with two parameters code and state this code is uh, generated by linkedin it's actually the uh, it's actually the authorization code which we will be needing further for submitting request and the state is the state uh, code which we have submitting in the get request so what happens in the success.jsv is so in my project if i open the success.jsp i am receiving uh, that uh, code and state here and uh, further i am passing uh, this to a method here like uh, post uh, send post code explain what the send post code does here now what happened next is we have received the authorization code from linkedin again we will send this authorization code from the success.jsp to linkedin uh, as a post request to another uh, link uh, which is linkedin.com slash auth way to access token actually we are requesting for the access token from linkedin for further process of getting the basic profile okay now here you can see we have received the code from here and we are passing that code to uh, a method here in uh, post test in the poster we are passing to send post so in the send post we are requesting a uh, post request to this link with the uh, the parameters like grant type uh, code this is the code which we received in that page and the redirect uri and uh, the client id and the client secret client secret id so uh, the documentation here of this one is here we are passing to uh, post request to this uh, link with the grant type code reader uri client id and client secret 
So once you have uh, sent the post request with all the parameters specified in the documentation, it will return an access token uh, to the send post uh, method as a format of a JSON t uh, JSON format in the form of JSON format, which is uh, we pass to get the token actually. So let's go back the code again. So you can see here, I am uh, passing all the things here and uh, I am getting a response here which is I am for, uh, for the uh, change to JSON object and uh, taken the access token here and again this access token I am passing to send get here you can see I have uh, taken it to as a string access token I am passing to uh, access token uh, send get here now using this access token we'll uh, send a get request using this send get uh, method to linkedin and uh, the link is uh, api linkedin and we are setting the format as json so what happened next is the uh, linkedin will uh, return uh, the profile info of the user in a json request as uh, shown here now let's uh, check the code so uh, this is my send get method you can see I am uh, setting the URL as this one and I am setting uh, the access token here and uh, all other parameters I am setting here and it is just uh, returning a response here which I am further uh, converting into a JSON object and getting the first name last name and headline and ID and uh, setting it to object uh, bean uh, linkedin profile bean I am, I am returning all these to the success.jsp and just printing getting that profile info here and just printing uh, the profile info in the success.jsp now uh, all the documentation is available here in this link i will share this link in my description also and uh, now uh, let's move further to run this Okay, now it's uh, time for testing. Now let's run this uh, project. Uh, just right now the index.jsp and I'm running it on server. Let's see. Browser, let me copy this to my browser. Okay, you can see I uh, have the index page is here. If I click uh, the sign in dot LinkedIn, it will be taken uh, to uh, the LinkedIn login page. Let's see, I'm clicking in. Okay, now this is the LinkedIn login page where you have to fill out your profile information to login. Now you can see uh, the API is asking the permission of the user to get uh, the basic profile information and uh, if i click allow it will take back uh, to my the success.jsp and uh, let's see okay now it is taken back to uh, my page uh, the local host page you can see it's printed uh, my first name last name headline and id which is uh, taken back uh, from the json request uh, the json response what uh, the linkedin provided back i have a written code to print out the uh, it in console you can see it's uh, returning a json request uh, a json response of my profile information so this is how it works if uh, you have any doubt in this uh, please comment below i'll be helping you i'll share the source code below and uh, uh, please like and subscribe for my videos and thanks for watching